Hey guys, Mr. Dalek JD here, and we have a very special guest in today's video. You're watching gameplay from a guy called Mato Master 21, and this is not just your typical YouTuber. He is an insane guy when it comes to Black Ops Zombies, and as you can see here, Modern Warfare 3 Survival. So, hello there, Mato. Hey, Mr. Dalek, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I just. Uh, can't get enough of these world records and crazy stuff, you know. <laughs> it is absolutely mental. If you guys are not aware, Mato holds several world records, and this is prob. Is this? Would you say this is your most impressive? Uh, yeah, I would say like I have a uh, world record on al almost every map on survival except one that there was a glitches, you know, outpost. There was a glitches on that map. But yeah, this is this is I think the most impressive gameplay that I've gotten so far on Sea Town. It is just incredible just to watch you at work here. Absolute genius. You take Thank it down that juggernaut. That was just crazy. <laughs> yeah, I just I do the some kind of spins right here just to celebrate I'm getting to round hundred or the way. <laughs> You, you're just showing off here. You make this look so easy, but obviously it, it can't be as easy as you're making it look. Yeah, man, for sure. Like, there's a lot of situations, like, that I almost died, and I was just, I was just lucky, or, um, and the things that are really can save your ass in those situations are the flashbangs. They are so important. Like, you can just throw one, and it's gonna flash, like, all the enemies, and then you have the time to recover your health and stuff. It's really useful. That's incredible. It flashes. <laughs> incredible. So what happened at the start of the video here? We saw you, you we saw you kind of fail there. What happened there? Oh, it's kind of, uh, it's called health glitch. And it usually occurs in uh, when you're playing with someone, like the cope survival. Oh. But it can happen uh, like on rare occasions, also on solo. And uh, what happens is that you have like, uh, maybe half of the health that you would normally have or even less and uh, you can just go down in a few hits without like the warning without the uh, red screen or something like that it's really crazy sometimes and can screw all your wall game you know that is just terrible infinity ward if you're watching this fix that now <laughs> <laughs> yeah tell robert bowling <laughs> oh, robert bowling i would love to give him a piece of my mind and a bit of my fist yeah. <laughs> so, so what exact? So we see you here. We you took down the first juggernaut, and now you're just, you're just laying down C4 like crazy. Oh yeah, it's actually, it would took a lot of C4s, but uh, you kind of saw that spin that I done, uh, that I did around that juggernaut, and that's a really effective way. Like you can only do it on the riot shield guy because he's crouching, mm -hmm. and um, you can't do it like after he stands up. You're um, basically like done <laughs> you need to like uh, run around and shoot him and throw c force like after he stands up that is, that is a really great tactic i've never even thought of that before it's like i'd always like to circle the enemy just to kind of have a little joke about but yeah like on the normal jug it doesn't work but uh, it it works perfectly because uh, you can like save your ammo and uh, you don't have to like spend your money or airstrikes, you know? Yeah. It's really good. This this part right here was just crazy. How the hell did you survive this? I don't know, man. <laughs> the... I was watching this back and I was like, what the hell? Yeah, man, this is pretty intense part. Like, uh, probably the most intense out of the wall gameplay that I got. But uh, how you can survive this, situations like this is you need to keep in mind that the enemies are so strong at this point and you cannot like kill them uh, like so fast like for example this guy look at how many bullets <laughs> <What's that? laughs> like what the fuck and the point is to shoot all the enemies uh, that are shooting at you uh, so they they can't shoot at you like why are you shooting into them you know oh that's a very good tactic and that's that's what you need to do like in uh later waves and here you can see I'm just picking up the FAD assault rifle because I'm absolutely out of everything I can tell <laughs> two guys in front of me you know <laughs> or three or four I, I don't oh, know if I was if I was in this situation with no ammo I would just be panicking right now 
Yeah, look, <laughs> look at it. How the hell? I, I don't know, man. I was just so lucky. And also another tip that I can give you is when someone is shooting at you, don't stand still. If you keep moving, uh, they miss a few bullets and it can really save you. Yeah, I mean, that could be that could be the, uh, the the chance between getting a bullet in your ass and missing that bullet and and saving a health point there. Yeah, it's like it's actually uh, the same like as multiplayer. You know, you see someone, you usually drop shot him, or you use a stalker perk. Yeah. And just move as fast as you can. This is basically the same thing that we are applying right here. Mm-hmm. And this here, just you just had to put that in, didn't you? Yeah. Just yeah. Knifing him. Absolutely no ammo, man. <laughs> the only <laughs> the only thing I could do is to knife that guy. Oh. Wow. Do you have any kind of like tactics specifically for this map in general? Oh yeah. Uh, the area that, that you like saw me in uh, behind that bar place, that's mm -hmm. a good place and I really recommend it. It's even easier in the, in the, the co-op. And I want to point out some differences like between the between the co-op and solo. Go uh, ahead. You could have seen like some 150 waves on, on co-op and the uh, it's actually a lot harder on on solo because yes you have more health like in co but uh, you don't have that much ammunition like when you're playing co uh, you rarely like uh, run out of ammo <laughs> the double the ammunition you know mm. and you have to like spend a lot of money to buy um, squads and airstrikes and C4s and yeah I can imagine that. Huh? Uh, like maybe at wave 70 I had. 300,000 money. Oh my god. At the end, I would have like maybe 2,000. <laughs> Whoa. Just, yeah. just to think, when you get to such a high wave, oh. you wouldn't need to use that much. Yeah, it's like sometimes I do buy a body armor on uh, the Juggernaut waves. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really important, like when you're running around, you need to have body armor to protect yourself. And sometimes I even buy it multiple times to make sure I won't die and fail like at 99 <laughs> one oh, well <wow. laughs> you know that would have sucked that would be so bad so at the moment here we've seen you climbing up a ladder up to this little kind of nice kind of upstairs bit here oh yeah actually you can hold up a little bit while they're all climbing climbing up the ladder but they also can shoot you underneath uh, through that window as, as you saw right there oh that's sneaky you need to like move I've seen I've seen a lot of people that have played survival on this map. They would kind of camp um, up up them stairs there, looking directly down at the staircase below. Would you have you tried that before? No, no, I haven't. But I also saw people doing it. Uh, but the problem is that there's two entrances, and it's easier. It's much easier when you have just one entrance coming up. And uh, the minus point is that you can't use airstrikes like inside. Yeah, because. Yeah, yeah. Right it, now, I'm just throwing airstrikes like, like, like cr crazy this way. <laughs> this is this is insane. I mean, uh, a, a very important tip that you've been showing throughout this whole video is that you got to keep moving. Oh uh, yeah, on the juggernaut way for sure. <laughs> uh, even when you're camping, like uh, I said that before, that you you can't stay still. Just keep moving, even if you're shooting. Mm -hmm. A little bit, just side to side, it's enough sometimes. And, help. and now we're seeing you here repeatedly using the flashbang technique with the airstrikes. Yeah, it actually works like you throw an airstrike to a certain position where you think the enemy is going to be. Mm -hmm. and, uh, then you throw a flash so you uh, kind of make sure that the enemies will stay at that position and you can make your airstrikes much precise that way. You know? Very, very clever. Very good. So you thought of everything, man. And uh, this juggernaut right here, I actually managed to... Uh, keep him crouched. Yeah, keep him crouched. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, man. <laughs> yeah. This is how I plant C4s on this map, like in front of that uh, camp place. Mm -hmm. Usually put 10 C4s, uh, like at 100 plus waves. And uh, sometimes later on, I'm going to also buy an airstrike because it's not going to be enough, you know. And there's a certain cycle between, uh, between how enemies... What, what type of enemies we are gonna go like each each wave mm -hmm. for example uh, the juggernaut will come every six waves 
and after the Juggernaut wave, there's gonna be a two waves where there's gonna be less soldiers. And uh, after those two waves, there's gonna be a helicopter round, also with dogs. And right after that, uh, two more waves with a hell of soldiers. <laughs> oh my god. This right here is the helicopter wave, as you can see, and it's also good uh, to, uh, like, call your squads and uh, have sentries in the back there. As you can see, I have uh, only one because it de they destroyed my, my previous sentry. Mm -hmm. uh, but what, what happens when you have teammates around you is the enemy will primarily go for your teammates and for your sentry guns, um, not for you. <laughs> so they're basically kind of a distraction. Yeah, it's the distraction. It's a, it's really helpful. Like uh, right now, they destroyed my other sentry, and then I just uh, like skip through that part because it wasn't like so so intense. So I just moved to the next wave right here, and this is the wave like with a lot of soldiers. You can see a lot of red dots on the map. Yeah, a, a serious amount there. Yeah, and I'm just waiting like uh, until they come here so I can blow up my C force. <laughs> You, you can see me like I, I'm not bringing up the detonator of the C4 and uh, I don't know some people know it some people don't I'm just gonna remind them uh, if you double tap the square button or the X button if, if you're on uh, Xbox you're gonna blow up like all C4s before. I didn't I didn't even know that yeah yeah it's really helpful because oh. you also have your gun equipped while you're blowing up your C4s it's really helpful exactly yeah, I honestly I did not know that and right here, the, the sentry guns are tearing them apart, as you can see. <laughs> you're making just light work of this, man. You're just, you're just more primarily trying to take out the guys that are on the floor. Yeah, yeah. And there's also, like, uh, I'm trying to get all the enemies, like, in the straight line. Uh, so I can, like, damage multiple enemies at once and save bullets, you know? Exactly. Right, right. exactly. Three, 300 bullets and it's not even... Like, it's close to the end right now, so it's pretty good. Right now I got red, I, I throw a flash, you know? Just to, just to stun them in position. And I'm just wait, waiting for regenerate my health and then just finish them off with my P90. And also the guns that I recommend like to use mm -hmm. in the survival in general. I did all my world records with a P90 and MG36. Wow, that oh. is surprising. Yeah, uh, I mean I, they were the least. They were, they were the gun like I, I wouldn't ever think of using the P90 for yeah. a world record. It's surprising. P90 is really good because uh, it gives you the mobility of the SMG. You know. Yeah. So you'd be able to run really quickly, and you don't even lose that much bullets because the LMGs overall ammo of the LMGs is like 400 bullets, and P90 has amazing 350 bullets. Wow like lose 50 bullets and you have increased mobility and uh, like lost the reloads yeah and also a heat fire is really good like on p90 and it also reloads like extremely fast like um let's say even you have i have a slate of hand like every time it's it's the best perk obviously it's the, it's the most essential perk for survival i think i think so as well and I, right here i'm trying to uh, you can see I'm shooting that guy uh, to make sure he's not gonna shoot at me and finish off the next guy and here I'm gonna just... It's kind of like leaving a crawler, you know? Mm -hmm. And here's like a little trailer, so if you guys are interested like to see... Um, what some... happens next? Yeah, what's what's gonna happen next, so here's a, kind of a trailer. And here we've got the, the leaderboards for the the number one spot. And there he is. He's number one. <laughs> and he even proves it there. Number one. Absolutely incredible. It actually took me like six hours only. Only For six hours. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, we, 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 we've, we've had to end it there. But honestly, if you want to see some of the best survival and the best zombie videos, Mato Master 21 is the guy for you. Him and Relaxing End Beasts. Thank you, man, for inviting me here and uh, doing this dual com. I really appreciate it, man. It's Thanks. absolutely fine. Pleasure was all mine, honestly. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you soon.